They don't want to date you. Date Jesus. Date Master Jesus. Date Daddy Jesus. Okay? Sex is not, is not an award. Yeah, I said it. Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. Yeah. Today, today has really been a long day, honestly. I'm not even lie, like I've just been up and about. But yeah. And then plus we've not had lights all day. They've been messing up with the lights. But yeah, if you go to this today's topic, eh, it's so dear to my heart. And I know that there's always a lot of controversy around it for some reason. I don't know why. And I'm actually going to be talking to my sweet girls, my teenagers. Yeah. And even the teenage boys as well. Yeah. So I'm just talking to teenagers in general. And if you're an adult and you think um you want to take a bit of the advice, good. So yeah, we're talking about semi basic today. For me, before when we talk when people are talking about semi basic and purity, and I'm like, mm, to each his own. I started my semi basic journey in 2012. And when I started, I'm so glad I took that decision because then I just recently became a born again Christian and I was learning a lot of things in church and all of those things during workers meeting and all of that. And it got it just, it just got me thinking and thank God for grace for that decision. And then I just took that decision to become celibate and all. And thankfully, it wasn't from a place of fear. Do I regret it? Of course not. Like it's the best decision, one of the best decisions aside from salvation of my soul. I just got tired of just being with guys. I'm in a relationship with this guy. Mm -hmm. I'm relationship with that guy. Mm -hmm. And it's like, mm. so when I became a Christian, a born again Christian, it made sense to me. Like, see, listen, guys, whether I like it or not, sex is very, very, very spiritual. Take it or leave it. It's spiritual. Thank God for mercy. So, my dear teenagers, there's nothing in sex. So, I know some of you will still be like, mm, cap. I know some of you will be like, eh, let's experience our own. Mm. Okay, no problem. He who has yes, let him hear. Because at the end of the day, I'm a firm believer of why wouldn't I rather use someone else's experience, especially when they've gone through something bad and let me get my lessons through it. Why would I want to experience such again? I mean, to what point? It doesn't make sense. So when people are telling you guys sex is not worth it before marriage, it's really not worth it. There is no award there. Don't be pressured, honestly. In fact, it leads to more heartbreak and heartbreak, more spiritual problems. I don't even know how to explain it to you guys. But sex is not worth it. It's not worth it when... See, it's not worth it when you are doing it at the wrong time. Mm -hmm. Let me phrase it very well. It's not worth it when you are doing... It's not worth it when you are doing it out of marriage, out of marital blessings and all of those things. Face what you are supposed to do at every point in time. And if you are meeting a guy, you are meeting a girl, and he or she is telling you, ah, I can't be with you because um, we are not going to be making love, let them go. They are not for you. They are capping. I'm talking. I'm talking to children of God. I'm talking to born again Christians. Fico, eh, eh. And if you are not born again, Holy Spirit will intervene and make you take to this as well, because it's life changing. So I know you'll be asking. So how are we supposed to? How am I supposed to date without making love and all of those things? Date like mine. Date people that share the same value with you. Date people that have the same taste with you. Do you understand? When you date people that share the same value with you, with you, you guys will not have to be like going back and forth with some things. Do you get? And yes, obviously, we are not. <laughs> this is flesh. We are humans. Sometimes you might be tempted. If one person is trying to like act funny, the other person is like calling you back and like come remember remember we are remember remember our you know so like if the next time you might even be the person that is saying remember remember that wants to act funny you 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 now come and say see the only spirit is our heart and he knows our intentions do you get but when you now start dating people that are not the same that, 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 that do not share the same faith with you or don't share the same value as yours that's where there'll be a problem now you now be under pressure ah if I don't sleep with him, if I don't sleep with her, she will leave me. Ah, if I don't sleep with him, if I don't sleep with her, ah, that means he or she doesn't love me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
examples are because we've all fall we've all done it. Come on. Because even me at the early stage of my Christianity, to be very honest, when I first became born again, you still want to fall, even though I was not having sex itself. But you know, I was still cuddling and all of those funny things. Do you know those things are also part of actual sex? I don't know how to explain it. Even though you guys are not penetrating and all of that, it's still actual, like, you guys are still, you are still not keeping your body. Do you get what I mean? Like, always hold yourselves accountable, you know? Be with like minds, pray about it. Even when the urge comes, talk to God about it. Because uh, uh, there's no point to pretend to God. Ah, daddy, I'm feeling this way. Daddy, I'm feeling that way. You know, talk to him about it so that I can bring your own, bone of your bone, the flesh of your flesh, and hasten things up for real. And you guys be together and enjoy it freely. Freely. You get that? So, my baby, honestly, let me just tell you. Face your phones. If you're going to have a boyfriend, if you're going to have a girlfriend, you guys should talk about these things. And don't be under any pressure. Oh, what eh? It's not worth it. This is what I just said. For those of you that don't stand you, but yeah. It's not worth it. And I know I said I was talking to teenagers alone. That's why I said teenagers is because, I mean, <laughs> adults are adults. I mean, they can make their own decisions. But perhaps you're an adult and you've been having intercourse with the opposite sex, like, regularly. And... You desire, you desire to stop, you desire to go celebrate, you desire to now actually wait until marriage. And you're asking, how do I go about this? First step, I'm so happy for you that you genuinely want to stop this. I'm not even judging anyone. This is a no-judging zone. If you know me personally, you know that it's a no-judging zone. So if you're that kind of person... And you're you asking, ah, how do I even go about this? How do I, I, how do I become celibate? What is it going to be like to become celibate? I think the first thing you should do, for real, is to actually have a genuine conversation with God about it. And tell him, ah, daddy, because I call God my daddy. And tell him, daddy, I really want to be celibate. I really want to stop having sex. Like, I really want to stay pure for you until the right time. Help me, daddy, help me, genuinely help me. You'll see, you just going to, it's going to be like magic. You just start counting, you just realize that you've gone into six months, you've gone into a year, and then you're counting, you're looking back, and you're like, wow, it's six months since I had sex, it's a year since I had sex. And that's why you just start counting, and that's why you just become totally delivered. It's an amazing thing. And to my sweet virgins, I love you guys. See, don't be ashamed that you're still a virgin. I have, I personally know of. 30 something year old ladies are virgins. And let me just tell you, let me let me say this before, because I know some people will come and say, eh, it's because they did not send any man to ask them out, or they did not send any man to speak to them. No, these people I'm talking about, they've dated the finest, the biggest boys. I know what I'm saying. But but they chose at the right time, they chose early enough not to sleep around for some reason. And these people I'm talking about were so not even born again as born again Christian as I've been, but they chose to just keep themselves and it's such a good feeling. It's not there is no award they need, but yes, it's also a, it's also an amazing feeling. Let's not lie. Please, let's be saying the truth. Let's be saying the truth. It's an achievement. Yes. So to my vegans, love you guys. Teenage vegans, please don't be under any pressure. For what I've said it earlier on. It's not worth it. You guys should stay safe out there. Eh? If they don't want to date you, date Jesus. Date Master Jesus. Date Daddy Jesus. Till it brings you your own genuine bone of your bone and the flesh of your flesh. Okay? If anybody that is using sex to pressure you and saying they will not date you because of that, they actually do not even love you to start with. So please date yourself and take and date that Jesus. Enjoy yourself. Take yourself out. Look good. Study if you are in school. If you are not in school, face your work. Do things that makes you happy. Okay? Okay? Sex is not is not an award. Yeah, I said it. I said what I said. Sex is not an award yeah so yeah that's it for today please let me know in the comment sections i said comment section oh god english why okay so let me know in the comment section if you have any experience on celibacy and how other people can you know learn from it and all of those things because i feel like a lot of people are just being shy to talk about these things and 
a lot of people just are just having sex just to be cool. Ah, I'm a cool kid. Mm -mm. You don't need all that. You're an adult. If you're 18 years old and above, you don't need to be cool for anybody. Be cool for Daddy Jesus. Yep. That's the, that's the main coolness. Be cool for Daddy Jesus. Yeah. That's it on celibacy. If you're a teenager and you need someone to talk to, especially, sorry, I only say the teenage girls because I'm so passionate about girl child, honestly speaking. I feel like a lot of mistakes I made in my early early days i don't want i don't want the younger girls even boys to, to you know to make such mistakes because some things are not just worth it when you look when you look back at it and you're like to what point really so yeah if you're a teenager and you need someone to talk to i always even advise teenagers to always have a close relationship to, with their with their parents but yeah i know sometimes it's not always the way the way it seems in some families so, so if you're a teenager, you need someone to talk to, you need, an, you need someone to talk to, you need an adult friend, you know. You need someone to like pour your heart to. You can reach out to me in, in the in the DM. Yeah. Alright, so that's that. Thank you guys for always watching. And if you're new here, thank you for watching. Please do well to subscribe, like, share, and comment. I love you guys so much. You guys are dear to me. Yeah. You know, I would say this. I always I've always wanted to say this, like, because naturally i do not have a lot of friends so it just feels so good coming on camera and talking and getting to interact with people in the comment section i can't wait for that day where i'll have a lot of engagement and we're just going back and forth in a sweet way in a positive way you know in the comment section yeah i love that i love that yeah all right thank you guys see you guys in the next one bye